Dear students, I would like to invite you to this massive open online course on financial accounting. The content is based on the syllabus of undergraduate CPCS model curricula of UGC. So, more specifically, the students pursuing the BCom or BBA may join this online course. Being a student of commerce, we know that the accounting is the language of the business. It conveys the accounting information or financial information of a business to its all stakeholders like owners, the employees, the lenders, the investors, the government, bank, etc. For the survival of a business, proper accounting system must be in place whether it is a large manufacturing company or business or a stationary business at your locality from where you purchase for your domestic purpose. The present online course is designed to give you an idea about the accounting system which is followed for the preparation of financial statements. And by financial statement, we mean the statement of profit and loss and the balance sheet. The profit and loss statement is prepared to calculate the profit earned or the loss suffered by a business for a particular period. And the balance sheet is prepared to show the financial position of the business on a particular date. This is the four credit course, which is divided into 40 modules under 12 units and distributed over 15 weeks. Let us see the course content. If you see in detail, unit one will deal with the introduction of financial accounting, where we will discuss about the functions and advantages various concepts like bookkeeping, accounting, accounting cycle to be discussed here. In unit 2, you will learn the most important matter in the financial accounting is a double entry system. Here you will learn the journal, ledger, trial balance. And during the process of accounting, some errors may occur. So you have to rectify. In unit 3, we will discuss the adjustment entries or rectification entries. In financial accounting, we have to follow certain standards, certain norms. So in unit 4, you will learn the financial accounting standards like the INDAS or Indian Accounting Standard and the IFRS. In unit 5, we will discuss the methods and accounting treatment of depreciation in unit 6, you will learn about the accounting process of inventories and in unit 7, you will be learning about the treatment of bad debt. Being a student of commerce, we have to prepare the financial statement. Actually, the financial statements are the end product of the financial process or accounting process. In unit 8, we will be discussing about the process of preparation of financial statement for non-corporate business entities. And unit 9, you will learn about the preparation of financial statement of corporate business entities. In addition to this, you will learn in unit 10, the accounting for higher purchase and installment systems. In unit 11, we will discuss on accounting for inland branches and partnership business will be discussed in unit 12. So, all the topics as prescribed in the UG CBCS syllabus have been included in this particular course. The course is supported by the audio video lectures, the e-text, quiz or self-assessment questions and discussion forum. Discussion forum plays an important role in the online courses. Through discussion forum, you can interact with your teachers or peers to clarify your doubts. And if you plan your study about six to eight hours per week, you can easily complete this four credit course. And remember, in this course, you will have two graded assignment. 
which will carry 30% weightage and the final examination will carry 70% weightage. After successful completion of this course, you are expected to learn how the books of accounts are maintained, how the rectification entries are passed and how the financial statements are prepared. In addition to this process of preparation of financial statement, you will have a knowledge on accounts maintained for the purpose of higher purchase and installment systems, the inland branches and the partnership business. If you want to get a completion certificate, you have to submit the graded assignment on time and also you have to clear the proctored examination at the end of the course. I hope you will have a great online learning experience. Thank you.